Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am so glad you are here with me. My name is Tammy. Today I am making some sugar scrubs, guys. This is for a custom order that I have. I was gonna make them anyway, but now I just have to make a bunch more than I was planning on. <laughs> so backstory, guys, I do work with an orthopedic surgeon and every year she has gifted the primary care doctors that refer to her small little gifts as thank you for like a Christmas or holiday gift. Uh, we've done a few things over the years. Um, a couple years I did bake hundreds and hundreds of cookies. I used to be a big baker. <laughs> Not a pretty baker, but a good baker. <laughs> but when I started this business, I started selling her my products. So for the first couple years, it was nice in that I would sell the things that I had on my shelf that I was wanting to sell out of like there were certain soaps and I would sell those soaps to her we'd put them in a little gift box and I would give her a pretty good discount uh, for doing that so it helped my doctor it helped me and it helped my boss who didn't have to deal with trying to figure out what to do and box up all these gifts and different things like that so it helped all three of us actually a couple years ago we decided to maybe not do that so much because I just felt like I wanted to not be so cheap. <laughs> there was a year that I did a small cream with maybe a soap or a lip balm, something like that. Last year, my boss and my, my she's my best friend anyway, but she decided that she wanted to promote my candles. So last year it was candles. And this year she had the idea of my sugar scrubs. She is one of my staunchest supporters in this business, so <laughs> she's always looking for ways to promote me. I'm going to be doing a four pack of my two ounce scrubs for the women. And then for the guys, I'm going to do a large four ounce scrub and a bar of soap. I am going to be making probably 40 jars of each scent. That should give me at least eight to 10 boxes for the holiday season. In the pot in front of me is my hard butter, which I use mango butter, my steric acid and my glycerol stearate PEG 100 stearate. And that's my emulsifier that I use for my sugar scrubs. That's in the pot in front of me melting down. And when that melts down, I'm going to add my liquid oils. And I've shown you all of that before. So I don't want to like waste your time seeing the same thing over and over. So I'm going to probably just skip that. Uh, but I am making 200 ounces of this as my base that I do. I will be back when this is all melted and my other ingredients are in there as well. So give me just a minute. It is the next night and I added the rest of my ingredients and just stirred it throughout the evening while it cooled. This is my base now. I went and looked and I've decided to make 40 of every scent. It seems like a lot. <laughs> I think I need at least 30 for the provider gifts, if I'm not mistaken. So I think 40 is gonna be about where I need to be. I've got this on the back counter and I've got this getting ready. I already weighed this off and I'm gonna get this in my mixer and get it going. It's a very loose scrub. If you guys have been around here before, you know that this is really quite a soft scrub it's it's kind of a loose base but once I add the uh, sugar in it really does help firm that up a little bit but if you want to take a look at this it's I mean that was real time right there and it is loose <laughs> so if you can see how loose that is now so I will go ahead and take just, I don't know, maybe, maybe just 10 minutes, not long. And I am going to put this in the uh, refrigerator upstairs just to get it firmed up enough so I can whip some air into it for it to hold that. I want it to be a little bit firmer than this when I add in my fragrance oil and colors and all of that. The first fragrance I'm gonna be using Hopefully I have enough. I think I have just enough of Cranberry Prosecco from Candle Science. 
I really wish I would have bought an 8 ounce bottle of this guys. I really, really like this scent. I want every one of these to be fun in some way or another. All right, I brought it back down here from the refrigerator. It helped a little bit, but it I, as soon as I added the fragrance oil, it really loosened even much, much more. <laughs> which again, I'm pretty comfortable with. Look, it's very, very soupy. Guys, I don't like it to be quite this soupy, but it is very, very loose. And this is just one of the reasons why I really don't ship this in the uh, heat. I only ship this in the, in the winter because it does kind of have a lower melt point and it will get really loose like this. I'm putting a good, healthy half teaspoon of some pink mica, and this is my raspberry red from Nurture Soap. So I was going back and forth about whether I wanted to make some of this white, whether, you know, to keep it all pink, but with such a small jar, I just thought, it's going to be a lot easier to keep it all one color and it's not going to be quite as uh, dramatic in a small jar as it would be in my eight ounce jar so i think that the cranberry seeds i'm going to add to the top of this is going to be kind of like this tone on tone the pink on pink type of vibe i think that might be kind of cool so while i was getting half of my sugar ready I'm going to show you this. I had it going on high and look how fluffy that is and how pretty that is. So it definitely got some air going even though it was started off really loose. Very, very luscious looking sugar scrub base. So I'm going to put white granulated sugar in. that off I don't have to shout over it um, and then I am going to use that was half my sugar amount my other half I've been using this Morena pure cane sugar and I think somewhere I have a big bag of just raw I think I got it from Costco last time and that's something that I learned from Mandy from Sweet Home Soaps thank you Mandy is to use this is a little bit more coarse than white sugar I do 50-50 and I really like that uh, blend. So I'm gonna get my second half of raw cane sugar or whatever this is called, pure cane sugar, <laughs> and I'll get that going too. Okay. So pretty. It's very, very light in color and I think my uh, cranberry seeds are gonna just pop off of this. I was a little worried at first about doing a pink on pink situation, but this is going to be really fun, I think. So one of the things that I want to do is test my weight and test my mixings. I want to get two ounces in each jar. I don't want it to look super full though, honestly. I want it to have a little bit of space. Oh guys, that's, that's an ounce and a half as it is. Let me see what I can do. It may be 1.75 is all I can get. And I think I would be happy with that. Put a little bit more in here. 1.75, that's how much is gonna be in here. So I am gonna have a little bit of extra. I wondered <laughs> why it looks so dark in my viewfinder and I had my, I don't know, the one over 60 is what I set, whatever that is. And it was down to like 30. So hopefully I can fix that. And hopefully I hadn't lost all of that footage, but I will check that. And if I did, I'll do this part over. <laughs> I wasn't going to take the rest of this. I'll check it and see. <laughs> 
So I got, I lost count, but I think I got about three extra of my two ounce jars. And I did a one of the bigger jars just to have that going. I think this is just gonna be really pretty. I got these from Brambleberry, these cranberry seeds. And not a lot, but you know, I don't know that this lid is working out as well as I was hoping. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Big surprise. This is working a little bit better. I should have done that to begin with. I think it looks really cute. Next day, I am on to my next scent. And I am doing eucalyptus and spearmint, and I get this one from Flaming Candle. So I have a pretty green color going in here. It's minty green, I think it's very pretty. This is aqua green from Micah's and More. And I have both sugars in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those in. I don't have anything like super special planned out for this one. I thought I wanted to do like a special color a special embed on top, but I don't have anything really in the works for this one. I don't really think I need glitter for it. And that is already at 1.85 and I'm only putting 1.75 in here. So it needs whipped up a little bit more. So I'll bring you back maybe when all of these are filled guys. All right, so batch number three is Snowberry Icicles. This is a fragrance I get from the Flaming Candle. And I just made it white because it's snow, right? It is not a pure bright, bright white because of the cane sugar. It's just barely off-white. I've been playing around with a couple of glitters from the Good Glitter and I think I've kind of landed on doing a bit of this. This is a winter, some sort of, I forget the name of it. But it's kind of a white on white situation. So if I do this Christmas tree first, which is quite nice. It's a little green, but it's got, I am horrible with putting glitter on anything. So I thought I'd try the paintbrush but I think I need a more of a um, makeup brush would be better than the paintbrush. But I don't have a I don't have a makeup brush down here. How am I doing? <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit. I don't want to put like way too much on because then that's just going to stick to skin or whatnot. I think that's good enough for this. And I believe this is Christmas tree. Let me look, Christmas tree. And then this one, I'm just gonna put on a little bit more just because it's a little bit brighter, it's less color, it's just gonna give us some shimmer. And this one is Winter Wonderland. So there is a shimmering snowflake. I am finally done making my two ounce jars of scrim. I think I'm skipping the last one with you guys. It is Winter Fairy from The Flaming Candle. And now I'm gonna be packaging these up. So I do have four by four by two boxes I bought from Uline. Let me just put one together real quick. And then I'm just going to put one jar. Uh-oh, I hope this fits. Yeah, they'll fit. Let's do this and this, just like that. But you guys, I really feel like I need tissue. I don't have any Christmassy tissue. You know, I need tissue. Let me go uh, 
grab that, see what I can come up with. Look in my Christmas, you know, bag from last year. See if I have anything that might be pretty. And then I'll come back down and redo this. All right, <laughs> I am back, finally. I ran to Dollar General. So I have a couple of these tissue papers and I have these. So I'm gonna start with these. I wanted the snowflakes, but I wanted white on white. I couldn't find that. Beggars can't be choosers. Last second decision. It's actually a little big. All right. I'm gonna see about cutting it down a little bit. It just feels so thick that it's it's not folding nicely. Much better. It's cleaner being a little bit thinner. And then when I got back from Dollar General, I got on the computer and I just very quickly searched out a Happy Holiday sticker and printed them off. I need to do some adjustment on my printer for my stickers, but I'm gonna call that good enough for this. It's a little off, but that's I think that's all right. There you go. Isn't that cute? And I'm not done. So here is my label for the top, Winter Bliss Exfoliating Collection. It has all my scents on it. And it's supposed to be like a snowflake background a little bit. I, I'm packing up for a show tonight. I'm packing for a show tomorrow. So I really wanna get about eight of these packed up and ready to go so that I can take those with me tomorrow. And then I just have the ingredients and how to use them on a two by two. I'm gonna try to put it right here. There. There you go. What do you think? Let me know down below. What do you think? I am super happy with that. All right, guys, I'm gonna get Seven more of these boxed up right away so I can take them back upstairs and get these packed up. I'm gonna take um, one to have open. I, actually, I'm gonna take a couple. One will be open with the tissue paper showing and one will be open with the tissue paper not closed so that people can see exactly what's in there. And I think that is gonna be a lovely Christmas gift for somebody. All right, I gotta get busy, I'll be back. All right, a couple days later, I have the men's scrubs done. I did use Beechwood. So for the guys, instead of four different scents of scrubs, they're getting the one scent of scrub with a Beechwood soap. And I have just enough bars of soap to do the 16 physicians I need to do. I've got a couple of my tops on. I always like to put the tops on first so that then I can put the ingredient label on bottom and it just lines up better. And I was thinking that I would be able to still use my box, but I'm just not going to be able to. It's just, it's just not going to fit. <laughs> so dang it, I already printed up my labels for the top of the box like I did the other boxes. So I just grabbed my bags. I just used plain craft white bags for my craft show table. So since I already have these labels printed up, I really didn't wanna to have to redo anything. I am just going to do that. And it says soap and exfoliation collection, Beechwood, one bar soap and one scrub. be for the guys. I'll be adding in my tissue paper as well. But these bags are small enough that one one uh, tissue paper fits perfectly. So that is one of 16 that I need to pack up.
Guys, I'm out. I sold every single one of those. I don't even have one left to show you and talk about it like I normally do. Uh, I really did quite well on these little scrub sets. The next day I had a craft show and I think I took seven or eight. I sold five or six. I sold over a hundred dollars worth just in the scrubs. And so that was, that made me really happy, but I sold every single one of those sets that I had. And then I, uh, had a few little two ounce jars that I sold and those were gone. They're all gone. <laughs> They're all gone. I already delivered all of those to the providers. I'm just so pleased with how these scrubs turned out and how the packaging turned out. I'm very, very happy with all of that. Lily wants to say hi. Come here, Lily. There she is. There's Lily. If you haven't met her yet. <laughs> Where are you going? Say hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, this is Lily. I didn't know that you were supposed to wipe her eyes every day, so they've got some staining. I'm trying to work on that, but we love her. This is Lily. <laughs> All right, get down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love her. She is very spoiled. Whole. Oh, uh, so anyway, guys, I just had to finish the video, but I don't even have anything to show you. <laughs> Normally, I will hold something up and talk about it, but I don't I don't have any. I'm going to be definitely doing this, I think, uh, for summer or for at least Mother's Day. Uh, I'm going to change my formula a little or use the foaming bath whip formula so that I can ship them. Uh, this scrub that I make, uh, it's a little heat sensitive to be shipping in the summer. So uh, that's a topic for another video I'm going to bring you soon is just my preparing for the summer uh, scrub season. So anyway, I got to get off here, but I want to thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. If you hated it, hit the down button. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Let's, let's say bye to Lily. Say bye. Bye.